So think of this as a child and his leg. The child is rocking uh, his leg back and forth, which has the feet attached to the bottom. That causes the swing to move back and forth. But in order for that to work properly, the swing has to be tied to the resonant frequency of the pendulum. So to do that, a child normally senses when he reaches the top of each peak, and that way he can gauge the resonant frequency. But for the microprocessor to do that, it has to look at the accelerometer's angle. So I have an accelerometer attached to the swing, and that reports back to the microprocessor the angle of the swing, and more importantly, where the swing is in, in time. This swing set has four interfaces. It has a pulsive modulated signal for controlling the servo, has a pulsive modulated signal for reading the accelerometer, and Show me all the Okay, to, to repeat, it has a pulsive signal for the accelerometer, and so the embedded microprocessor reads the pulse width to determine the angle of the uh, pendulum. And also, the embedded processor sends a pulsive modulated signal to the servo to control the angle of the swing. I also have a I squared C interface to control this LCD display. And lastly, I have a Bluetooth interface from the laptop to the SDK so that I can control the uh, swing set remotely without a wire. And as you can see right now, it says speed swing set and the degrees. Now, as it thinks, as the pendulum swings, it will report back the angle of the peak swing. Mm -hmm. So you can see in real time what's happening as well as the servant when it's swinging. Show me the Bluetooth one more time here. The Bluetooth adapter is not on the total board here. The Bluetooth adapter. What does that thing cost you? That cost me $50. Okay. From Spark Fund Electronics. Oh, okay. Go ahead, it's all your show. Okay, now, let's look at the accelerometer and it's recording back at the angle. Let me, talk, let me start my console up, I'll give it a command. Mm -hmm. And right now it's showing the pendulum angle. And since pendulum is at rest, I have zero degrees. If I move pendulum, the angle should change. Mm -hmm. And going the opposite direction, the sign should change as well. The angles change. Yeah, the numbers should change right there. Okay. Okay. Now, the swing set, I, in order for it to work, I enter an angle that I wanted to swing to and maintain an angle. And, that's, and the feedback does that. But to get it started, I have to okay. give it a little kick, and there, therefore there's a manual swing without feedback. Yeah. That manual swing is tied to the approximate resonant frequency of the uh, swing. So the microprocessor swings the the swing arm back and forth approximately one second range, which is the resonant frequency of this particular pendulum. Okay. So let's do an initial swing. So it's all computer controlled. You'll have to kick start it for a minute. And so it'll swing, but it only swings a limited number of times because the purpose of this is not to swing it indefinitely, but to get it started, you know, the automatic swing is that okay. And if, if I had the automatic swing, that operation will never take over at this time and then try to maintain the angle at which I entered in the front uh -huh. console. Now, to prove that this is truly wireless, okay. let me lift this up and show that there are no wires attached to it except for the power cord. Okay. So nothing up my sleeve. Okay, now, finally, let's see an operation. Okay. I will enter in 31 degrees because 31, I think 31 because it operates in increments of four and a half degrees. So 31 off the vertical, huh? Yes. Okay. So if I do an initial swing, to get some momentum going. And now it kicks in the auto mode and it's running off feedback from the accelerometer. Okay. And I, down here I get the angle that achieves that degree. Degree. Okay. The control loop I have to control this is a PID controller, a, a proportional integrative driven controller. And I tuned it as best I could, so, but it, it does try to keep 31 degrees, but oscillates approximately around 31 degrees, down to 27 and up to 36. Okay. And when it goes up to 36, you can see that it's not clean, so that it slows itself down. And when it goes below 31, 
kick some more to get back up. Hmm. How much time do you think you spent on this stuff? Uh, too much. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> I could just be swinging off ash and gold. I probably spent about two weeks real time fiddling with it here and there, thinking about it. So let's change the angle to something really energetic. Okay. So bigger than 30 now. Now it's going up to 40, 40 degrees. And you can keep moving on the table here, huh? Yeah. But you can see it does, it does a pretty good job of maintaining that angle. Yeah, pretty good. And now I'll take it down to 22 degrees, so it won't have to labor as much. You, as you can see, it's not swinging, and it'll right. coast until it gets down to around 22 degrees. Very cool. How much do you think total cost wise there? Oh, probably parts pieces. It's been $100 and $150. Huh. I already had the SDK from a previous class. Yeah. Now it's just the automotive, right? Well, it's an automotive, but it had, it had to coast down at 22 degrees. And you can see it's, just, it's more leisure as it kind of swings. Yeah. It's going between 18, 22, and probably up to 27. Okay. Oh, pretty good.